I'm good. Sorry it took me a minute. Oh, Thanks for apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened here. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's my bad. Player, player of the week, pretty nice news to start your day. What's that mean to you to get recognized like that? Sure, uh, it, it felt pretty good, you know. You know, it's player of the week. I want to be player of the month, you know, player of the year, whatever. But shoot, that that's just one stepping stone to reaching even more goals, and they just give you even more confidence to go out there and do what you do. Speaking of confidence, how different is it now? Six games in, four picks in, compared to first game of the season. Uh, shoot, it, it, it's grown a little bit more just because uh, I feel like. Whenever a ball near me, I, I just want to catch it. <laughs> so, uh, but other than that, I mean, shoot, I just stay level-headed. Really, you never get it too high, never get too low. You just got to be the same person through it all. Something tells me you don't have a hard time with that. Was that ever a lesson that you had to learn, or is this your personality and just kind of the way it's always been? Shoot, I feel like uh, in college, in my early years, when I was a receiver, that's what it kind of was like up and down. And then as I got older and then my senior year of college, it just went ahead and just started to do that a little bit because uh, you start to understand why coaches do what they do a little bit. And you just start to understand, like, you know, like yourself and you self-evaluate and you be like, okay, like, this is what I can do and this is what I need to work on and stuff like that. And then now it just carried on through here and I just try to be pretty chill about everything and calm and just keeping a positive mindset through it all. Different of a player do you feel like right now compared to in college? Shoot, sure, I feel like a <laughs> way different player. In college, I mean, I feel like I, I did good at press, but it was inconsistent rather than out. I feel like I've been way more consistent and just trusting my technique and trusting my speed and uh, just trusting that you can just go out there and play freely. Is that something that's come just from more time in the position or how they coach you here? Shoot, sure, a little bit of both. Uh, the coaches do a great job. And as uh, soon as I had the opportunity to be a starter, I said starter, starter, and just go out there and show what I can do, they just made sure they stayed in my ear about you know being comfortable, just keep being yourself. Don't try to go out there and do extra. Just do your part and make sure you just do it the right way. And uh, I just been doing that the whole time. Do you prioritize? Do you prioritize practice more now than you did when you were in college? Oh yeah, for sure. Just because I'm around football all day. I, in college, you know, <laughs> you go to practice and you're in practice thinking about, oh, did I finish my homework or did I, oh, I got algebra class later, got an exam or something. Rather than now, shoot, you ain't got to worry about none of that. <laughs> you can just do the one thing you love and that's play football. Does your uh, receiving background help you at all when you, when you do get a chance to get your hands on the ball like the play the other day? Yeah, I feel like it does. Also, I just feel like my hands uh, done got a lot better since those days too. We heard, you know, DK talked about going as he were in practice and realizing, like, okay, this guy's legit. Or we heard Pete talk about watching you go up against Marquise and the speed and all that. On the flip side of that, did that give you confidence matching up with those guys early in camp and knowing who they were and how fast they were and all that? And knowing you oh, were yeah. Oh, heck yeah. I remember before I was drafted, I was like, uh, if if I <laughs> if I do be on the team, I just hope it's with DK. And if I am on another team, I hope it ain't versus him. Cause I just used to see how big he was and what he used to do to DBs. And then as you know, I got drafted here, and that just made it a lot better. Because when you look at great, you know, DBs and cornerbacks, they got great receivers. They go against that practice. They go against you know good receivers that gets them better. And that's one thing that I had to do, just because I was forced into a position to be a starter. And uh, whenever you know I had the option and the opportunities, I just made the best of. Them. Whenever I went against DK or Locker or Goodwin or Eckers, just any receiver. Would you, say, would you say that those reps that you got against DK and some of the success you had against him in training camp was was that a moment where it started to hit you like I can start for this football team, or were you thinking that upon arrival? Honestly, uh, it was a co a couple signs here and there, but. I just stay level-headed because at the same time, this is the NFL, and um, I mean, I, did, I like honestly, I, I didn't know I was gonna be a, a full-time starter until the first actual real game, you know, because preseason is preseason, and you know we dealt with injuries and we had starters before I was a starter. And uh, whenever I got to go ahead and was a starter, shoot the first game, and it just clicked in, like you know, that I can really do this even more. When you were going against Metcalf in training camp, 
is it true that he was also teaching you and helping you? It wasn't like he was just trying to beat you and then leaving the rookie alone, right? Oh, yeah, no. He, he made sure, like, in between reps that he gave me different pointers, like, oh, how to set a block or, you know, not letting him block me long and just getting off the certain blocks he is because he says certain receivers will be aggressive in his league. And, uh, you know, whenever impress what hand to jam with or try to switch some things up so that way people can't, you know, already know what you're doing. You're in your first weeks and months in your career at that point. What did that mean to you, that the Pro Bowl wide receiver taking in and telling you that? So it meant a lot, to be honest, just because it's DK and uh, a guy that gets high praise around the league and just throughout this building. Uh, it, it just means a lot, especially when you got multiple guys that hold a lot of weight to their name in this league. It helps out just because you see them, you know, from the outside world, and once you actually in the building with them and being close with them, you actually see how good of a person they are and uh, what makes them a better player. What was the story behind you moving from uh, receiver to cornerback in college? <laughs> Shoot, I wasn't getting no playing time receiver. Uh, I remember every practices I snap at receiver and be like, dang, why I ain't getting no playing time? <laughs> and then um, it was just one day where the, my head coach at the time, Coach Wilson, he came to me and he pulled me to the back of a meeting room and he was like, I know you ain't happy with your playing time, but would you like to play corner? Well, a couple of our corners kind of banged up right now. And I feel like we can use your athletic ability on the field and just not you sitting on the sideline. Plus, I think you like playing more. So I was like, nah, coach, I'm a receiver. I've been playing offense my whole life. One, because I, I didn't really know how to tackle anybody. I never wanted to tackle anybody. And then uh, just I was just always an offensive-minded person. And then next, you know, we went to practice that next day. And uh, I started making some plays at corner. I just was following whatever, whatever the dude went, I'd go. And if it was just cover three, I just was bailing anywhere, not knowing who was in the zone, and then i just do it. And shoot, now we fast forward here. And shoot, I'm just thankful for the whole position of the change. So when you told him, no, I'm a receiver, and then you next day I had to go out to practice, did you? Did someone have to drag you onto the defense? Or how did, how did, how did you accept being that so, Whenever I go to the uh, receiver drills, he'll tell me to go to the DB drills. And then I try to go back to the receiver drills, he'll tell me to go back to the DB drills. <laughs> and then that, that, that was how I went in that practice. I'll get reps on both sides. And then uh, I did that for like two weeks. And the last game of the 2020 season came, and that was my first ever game at corner at, uh, versus Louisiana Tech. Never even, even in high school or whatever, you never really played corner or defensive after. <laughs> so it was a time in high school where it was like, uh, just for fun at practice, they was like throwing me in that corner and they threw me at corner and I called a pick and I was like, never mind, just keep them on offense. And you said you feel your hands have gotten a lot better just in the last couple of years. Did he, any reason for that or anything done? Sure, uh, just being more confident in myself and then just, you know, just catching a lot more footballs than I usually did. Have you heard from Coach Wilson since you've become a Seahawk? So I had texted him, and uh, we had we, we had talked through text, yes, sir. Uh huh. Oh yes, sir. No, because uh, at UTSA, my early years, it wasn't like the the, the best thing or the most beautiful thing because we was losing and stuff was just going uh, going on within the inside. But so I I still texted him and I I told him I appreciated his idea because at, at first I didn't really agree with it. What kind of advice are you getting? Consultation getting from uh, Andre Diggs back there. So uh, just know my stuff and uh, just making sure that I go out there and do my job so that way he can trust in, trust in me even more. And I feel like that's something I've been doing real real well with. And he also just gave me off-field advice about how you should live and how to be a man. Is there a play this year for you that surprised you I mean, early on or later on that you've come down with and you're kind of surprised that you just did that in the NFL? <laughs> Probably two, two. I had to say the block field go. <laughs> I, I did that once in college, but it wasn't just like a, like off the side. I, I was, I jumped in the air and I had blocked it. And then uh, the interception versus the Cardinals, cause one, a team never, like even in college, they, they'll throw a deep ball and it'd be overthrown or I'll play through the receiver. And then that, that, I feel like that was just a big play for me just because uh, like I had read a lot of things about me just coming in, and it was like, oh, he can't read deep balls, he can't catch deep balls, or he can't catch at all, risky hands. And then, shoot, that pick right there, it just meant a lot to me just because of that reason. Given all that, then, I mean, just, did all of this surprise you or any of it surprise you just how quickly you kind of come this year? Or? Shoot, uh, 
Honestly, no. But yeah, at the same time, I knew that uh, hard work uh, never goes unnoticed. And if you just keep coming to work, keep doing what you're doing, and willing to get better, something great is willing to happen. And shoot, I'm just making strides in the, in the right direction and just keeping a positive mind frame. I, I, I stay a positive person no matter how bad things get. So I just try to have a positive mindset. And knowing that having that mindset, knowing that you'll get better, shoot, the sky's the limit. Teammates and people around here razzing you for winning Player of the Week award. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, but they just make sure I don't get big headed, which I don't think I will. I just put, uh, you know, just keep it level, like I said. But uh, I know everybody here proud of me, and they want the best. When you met with the um, with people at the combine, at the Senior Bowl, or whatever in the pre-draft process, what were the, some of the critiques that scouts or DB coaches were uh, offering to you? It was a couple things. They were saying technique, deep ball things. Some uh, I heard some things about just me being too laid back and just a goofy person. I mean, I always smile. I don't think it's a reason not to. So, um, just hearing the different things they saying, and then actually going out there and playing teams that I met with, it feels good just because, like, I feel like I proved a point to them. How interested did you feel like the Seahawks were at that time? Did you meet with them at the combine? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I still remember because uh, my two meetings before that, I was sweating and all nervous. <laughs> and then I was, it was my last meeting. I only had three meetings. And I walked into the press box, and I remember seeing Coach Hurt. And I was like, dang, this must be Coach Pete Bodyguard or something. <laughs> 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 and then I didn't see Coach Pete at first either. So I walked in. I was like, OK. And then he moved. And all I seen was a short guy with white hair, gray hair. And I was like, I knew who that was. And he seen me, he started smiling. And then from there, I started smiling too. And then we just sat down and they just showed plays. And he was just asking, you know, how did I learn how to play back shoulders? And how did, why did I do this on certain plays? And I told him. And then he was like, OK, OK. And then shoot, it just was good vibes from there. And then once people found out I met with the Seahawks, they was like, oh, you going to go to the Seahawks and all this, blah, blah. And I was like, well, shoot, we'll see. And then I'm standing right here. Was yeah. actually good plays in that meeting that they showed? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, they, they showed some good, they showed, like, all the players were good plays. And it's crazy because the two meetings I had before that, it was like, man, why did I come in here? <laughs> <laughs> you had a couple of Cardinals players, I know, come up to you after the game, kind of congratulate you. Mm -hmm. Saw some stuff on Twitter that players around the league reaching out. What is it like having kind of people notice you all around? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because uh, I remember in college last year, I used to sit in the, on the couch and look at the NFL games. I'm like, dang, like players will go off. And it's cool because even though you're on different teams, it's still like a brotherhood because, you know, you stay connected. You know, oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> so you, you stay connected. And then um, just seeing like Darius Slay and Micah Parsons and uh, different players like Trayvon Diggs and stuff like that reach out is cool because you're like, okay. Like, you actually turn the heads out here. Anything else, guys? <laughs> Thanks for being Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one.